Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Um, what did we do last time? I don't even remember. But uh, we did a whole bunch of stuff, that's for darn sure. We went to the Black Dragon Fort, we became a Dragon Master, that's definitely an important thing that we did. And, um,. I also had a couple of rather tantalizing scenes that I decided not to not to show on Twitch. But if you go to my YouTube, to the uh, LTB, uh, LPTW Live VOD repo, the link is on the uh, the about page on my channel here. Um, on the latest VOD, there are links to two unlisted videos with the scenes that I have not presented in uh, basically on stream. And there are two. Now I'll let you figure out why there are two. Um, I did uh, take a look at uh, any for uh, any future bromides that we're going to be uh, collecting in the game. I am not really worried about showing any of the others on stream. Like those those will be fine. Um, so I guess we are going to the frontier, aren't we? With the power of the four dragons, Galleon might as well be invincible. But only if you try to fight him on, on his terms, Alex. You have a power that cannot be measured and that Galleon can never steal from you. Do you understand what that power is, Alex? Do you know how to use it? Well, hopefully he does. I sure hope so, because I don't want a replay of last time. Given time, I could design and build a far superior ship, but this will have to do. All right, we'll be able. To, we'll finally be able to hit up the frontier with this. Just you wait, Galleon. I've been checking my list twice, and you've been naughty, not nice. I hate to admit it, but Cal's confidence is infectious, isn't it? I don't understand what, uh, why they're so excited about what we're going to do, Alex. There's nothing cheerful to me about the thought of taking someone's life. Ash. Don't worry, Luna. We're finally coming. Alex, do your best. I will. Yeah, I forgot about that too. Nash kind of. Kind of boned us. All aboard! Next stop, the Frontier! Also, hey, Zero. Hope you're doing well tonight. Quite an amazing resemblance. Was that might? The one between Alex. Yeah, the the one between that Alex kid and you in that age. <laughs> really? I think it was I was a bit more stylish than that. Stylish? Yeah. If you knew what style was, you would take off that beret. Burn burn the damn rag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. I'm sorry you must undo what I've done. Good luck and Godspeed, friend. Laika, what is it you're not telling us? When I was his age, I already had a full grown beard. What a horrid place. No trees, no grass, no life. 
This is the frontier, untouched by the hand of the goddess. So where is the Vile Tribe? Where is the Magic Emperor? The sooner we wipe them out, the sooner we can leave this horrible place. Well, what's that? There it is, Jess. You ready? Not steal one of your lines, Kyle, but I was born ready. Hang on, everyone! What was that? We just bounced off thin air? Alright, then let's hit it again! It's not working! Any more of this and you'll break the airship for good! Galleon's placed a magical barrier over the hole of the grindery. So, would anyone like to suggest what we try next? Look, there's a town over there. Let's land and see if we can find another way in. It's anime! The, the, sure, we're the new miners. That, that's that's what we are. I mean, te technically, Alex is a miner. He's seventeen. I'm only crushing your world. Crush, 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 crush. Let's take a look around to begin with here. Well, what's in here? Okay, gotcha. Um, Mine is through the middle door. Please be careful, you filthy human. This was not the middle door. In fact, why did we even come up here? Why do these passages exist? Like, thanks for taking me to nowhere. Oh. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't seem ideal. I feel like they uh, see you as a bit expendable. See, what I'm figuring is they don't even know what a human is. The drunken overlord bar and grill. Okay, broken brawling, profane yelling, loud singing, or naked jiggling. <laughs> okay, that's that's a pretty. Uh, wonder which of these? Uh, probably all of them. Any that you remember? Naked jiggling. <laughs> Regular jiggling. That's fine though. Is it? I 
I mean, I would suggest that you don't dig with your hands, especially not if you're mining. Is that just an exit? It sure is. Okay, so our, our options right now are Talon and Airship. And that takes us back around to this end. Yeah, tried to go into this door, but uh, probably wasn't going in at like the correct angle. I mean, as long as you don't attack us. Yeah, go ahead and rest up. Not interested in picking fights. I will, however, defend myself if you attack me. Okay, this seems like a, like an action zone. Um. Ha ha. Healing fruit. And more boxes. This is how mining works, right? You go into the mine and just open all of the boxes inside. Um, so clearing, what does that do? Stone Seal Muddle Ward. Hmm. See, th this is where, like, having this extra... Um, this extra piece of equipment that gives us, like, an additional super. Like, do I want that or do I want to just guard against all statuses? Let's at least see what this attack is. We haven't done that yet. Plenty of room to juke for the most part. Like, as soon as I say that, of course, I end up in a fight. And hey, the one good thing about uh, Nash not being in party right now is I don't need to have my, my finger ready on the low contrast filter. <laughs> And Alex, your your attack could use a little work. Mia, however, is just destroying. 
Not least with that attack. Another silver light. Go this way. And get a Periclete robe. Who gets that? That is Mia. Sewn for a sorceress. I guess Mia is one of those. Actually, you look peaceful. What's your deal? Yeah, don't worry about it. Certainly resolute in uh, in their efforts here. I'm sure Master Galleon will will appreciate this scoop of dirt. Seems like almost everyone is being forced to labor by Galleon. Oh dear. When you're in the position of envying the dead. cry came from the room we just walked through. And so did that awful sound. One of the mine tunnels must have collapsed. Hurry, we must go back and, and try to help. We can't go back there, Jess. Are you forgetting we're sneaking around this place? If the guards see a bunch of humans running around, the gig is up. So what do you suggest we do? Leave these poor slave miners back there to die? Real compassionate, Mr. Nice Guy. Comments like that make me ashamed to know you. Look, Jess, I want to help too, but the reality is that if we're caught, we're just as dead as they are. I'm tired of arguing. Alex, you make the call. Do we help the miners or keep going? I think we're uh, gonna go back and help. We must try to help them, even if they're, if even if what they're doing is wrong. Because if we don't, we're just the same as the Magic Emperor. None of you have any, a lick of common sense. But that's why I like you all. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Sure. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna help you. If I don't keep working, I'm dead too. Just stay out of our way, you gutless wonder. He's... he's alive! You did it! Oh, I'm so happy. What the hell is going on here? You all know you're not supposed to stop working for any reason. Leave this fool to die and get back to work before we decide to execute the lot of you. And don't think for a second that we won't crush your worthless heads if you disobey. Remember that you were brought here because you're too weak to fight in Zenobia's hordes. If you don't serve her by working in the mines, you're not fit to live anyway. Wait, who are you? You're humans, all of you. 
You are correct, sir. Now, can you guess which one I'm gonna kill? Uh, which one of you I'm gonna kill first? Um, from the looks of it, this is pretty much just a normal battle, even though we have the. Okay. Maybe it's not as normal as I thought it would be. Ooh, that's, uh... That's a nasty cut there. Thank you. All right, let's reconsider our strategy. <laughs> Uh, you should be able to hit this guy just fine. I'm gonna have you do Calm Litany, I think, just for good measure. Um, you can do any zone Ice Geyser. And, um, do Power Sweep. That was effective. That was very effective, actually. Like all the strategy, and uh, I only I only needed the one attack. Anyway, Jessica levels up. Did I ever mention how much I enjoy winning? Uh, yeah. You've heard it before. Let's get out of here before you attract any more attention. They saved that man whose life, even knowing the danger they face in doing so. With such selfless bravery in their hearts, they might yet defeat the Magic Emperor. <laughs> Doesn't it feel great after helping out someone in need? What are you talking about, Kyle? You were the first one trying to slink away instead of lending a hand. And again, I bet you freak out seeing yourself in the mirror every morning with a dual personality like that. Damn. Uh, let's see. Fox. The Devil Pendant. Uh, let's see what that does. Resistance up. I'll keep that in mind. Meow. Box. Regular old starlight there. Nothing over here. You know what? I should probably be getting into more fights anyway. We probably want to gain a couple of levels here. Also interesting that uh, Jess seems to be uh, defending more. Oof. Yes, thank you for the heal with me. And these guys pack a punch. Maybe I really do need to be fighting more. Oh yeah, 
Mia levels up to 32. I'm looking at this guide here and the recommended level for the next uh, boss is 35. We've been falling behind a little bit. Let's see. Just round up. Ah yes, Valve's newest platform, the Steam Tank. I mean, I, I don't know that I really need a tank with a cannon on it. Yeah, Jessica really um, performing her function here. I mean, I, I love having such a kick-ass healer, but uh, sometimes she actually got to do some healing. Just defending again. I don't know, I, I feel like she just doesn't like these guys. I understand if you're afraid of them, Jess, but it'd uh, be nice if, uh, if I could understand why. Slicing up that uh, that tank. I uh, know if if you get a tank and um, it's malleable enough to be dismantled by a sword, I don't know if it's really all that um, all that useful for most purposes. Especially since your mace makes people fall asleep. I forgot that that was a thing that you could do. Protection ring. Oh, we already have one of those. Defense up. Cool.
Here come the poison tail. Still ineffective. It kind of makes it look like um, it was the tank casting Ice Geyser. Fortunately, that is not the case. Excuse me, Alex34. I don't know why I'm so, uh, I don't know why I'm so sleepy. Maybe I caught something from Foos. Um, one second. So do I want that one or do I want that one? Ah. Is this a starlight? An angel's tear. Very good. And there's a lot of stuff here. And another box. That is a radiant tiara. Uh, who does that belong to? Wait, it's... oh, there it is. Belongs to Jess. Holy flaming headpiece! Uh, since we're on the screen, we should probably have Jess heal herself. And her boyfriend. Well, that was uh, possibly a bit overkill. Wow, she had the range for that? I did not think she would get all the way. Healing fruit. Get in the game, Kyle. Didn't even take it out with a crit. Oh, just barely. She even had to take that extra step. Oh, two tanks. Huh. Well, hopefully we can make it two for the price of none. Not sure why you went with that instead of Blizzard, but okay.
I might just have a turn on full auto here just to uh, try to deal with this uh, rather heavy crowd. Let's unleash uh, Alex and Kyle. Hopefully, anyway. And again with Flame Blast, Mia, there's five targets on the field. Double whammy, look at that. I'm pretty sure you could have gotten those with, uh, with a sweep. I mean, ultimately, this could all have been avoided by me just manually orchestrating my turn. So it's a little my fault, too. That was not particularly effective. Not what I had in mind when I said unleash Alex. There we go. That's more in line with what I had in mind. There we go. Kyle levels up. Starting to run a bit low on resources here. Let me see if I can uh, just make it through. What is this place? These look like markers now. Grave markers. This must be where the miners are buried. This is what they're doing with their dead? How pathetic! All we can do is petition Althena to watch over them with the honor they deserved. Speaking of, why is there a goddess statue here of all places? It's a statue of the goddess, but what's it doing in here? It's the vile tribe. You are the ones who, who saved me from being buried alive when the tunnel collapsed. You have my thanks. Uh, question. How did you get here before we did? There are many shortcuts and other passages in the mines that only we miners know about. Can you tell us why there's a statue of Athena here? I thought the Vile Tribe hated the goddess. This is true. We have hated Althea since she banished us to the frontier. But the only way we can survive here with such weak magic is to look to the very goddess we hate. What irony. A warning before you go. The Vile Tribe doesn't know you, uh, what you humans are really like. They want to help a uh, Galleon destroy you. Please be careful. Cheer up, Alex. I have a feeling we'll find Luna soon. Alright, this might be a bit of a rough fight, especially for the girls. But, um... Go ahead and uh, put down a save here. And uh, get to rocking.
Uh oh. It's quiet in here. We all know what that means. Let's get ready to rumble. What just happened? The entire cave went dark. Alex, can you hear me? Don't let your guard down. This isn't just any blackout. Ah! Hey, hey! What's happening? Jessica, Mia! Oh, great. Alex! Ah! Carol the act from a master of the yellow arts. Let him go before I cleave you before I cleave you in two wedge. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> My aren't the two of you intimidating. Give me a moment to think this over. Should I release your precious friends or should I make use of them? Hmm, what to do? And I I've just the ticket. A fight. Kyle versus Alex to save their dear friends. Should you fail to cooperate, you'll be witness to an uncomfortable execution. The only woman I take orders from is Jess, you skanky scabsucker. Hmm, sticks and stones and all that. I'm afraid your schoolyard taunts have failed to achieve the desired effect. I shall see a bloodletting. I care not whether it happens to be yours or theirs. Ugh, you heard her, Alex. Let's give her what she wants. So, I guess it's a boss duel with Kyle. I was hoping to show off everyone's supers, but, um... We don't have a new super for, uh... For Alex, so I guess let's just, uh... Good move. Ah, we're play fighting. Okay, I guess I didn't need to, to use uh I see. I guess I used vigor for nothing then. But that's okay. At least we don't have to hurt our friend. Yeah, she caught on quick, didn't she? Do you think you're really fooling anyone with that pathetic show? Show me a real fight. If you do not, She'll witness your friends writhing in agony until they expire before your very eyes. <sighs> Sorry, but I can't do that. What? You would choose to let your friends die rather than fight to save them? I gladly save Mia's angelic life. But there's no way I'm going to put my life on the line for that beast chick. And there's no way I'm going to fight the Dragon Master because I don't want to lose. Kyle, what? I knew he was selfish, but I didn't know he was this bad. Uh, you're not fooling anyone with that, with that act. Look into my eyes and tell me it's all an act, Zenobia. You've never had to suffer through one of Jess's temper tantrums, have you? Go ahead, finish her. You could use a little peace and quiet. Cal, you brainless mutt. What are you saying? I don't yell at you that much. Oh, so I'm brainless. Oh, so I'm a whiner. You know what you need, Jess? You need the discipline your dad never gave you. Is that what you really think? I dare to come up here and even try it. Uh, Kyle, this might not be the right time to vent your frustrations. <laughs> Unbelievable. I suppose I'll kill you first then, Alex, and watch the quarrel next. Alright, we're free. That was great, Jess. Now come and get down here. Ready, Mia? Ready. Damn it, not again. Wow, you were bluffing. 
<laughs> of course, the smarter they think they are, the easier it is to fool. Uh, every time I have you at my mercy, you manage to escape. But not this time. Your performance is over. It's time for the final, fir uh, the final curtain to fall. Farewell. I mean, if you really want to get the job done, you really should do it yourself, Zenobia. Anyway, Shadow. We're gonna fight Shadow the Hedgehog. It's pretty great. Um, Judgment Litany. Instant death. I don't think that's gonna work on a boss. Double spell. Fire and Ice Assault. Uh, let's give that a try. Um, and break dive. Desperate offensive. Poor Zazuzi. I have to try to remember that um, Jessica's uh, extra super is uh, an instant kill. Because I do want to check that out at the very least. I don't know that I'll keep it just for the fact that um, I usually only use supers during boss battles. Um, yeah, I don't think any spells are going to work here, so let's just put you on auto. I'm going to shield Jessica, since she's our healer. I guess I should have powered up first, but whatever. That's unfortunate. Healing herb is not the answer here, Jess. Oh, you're fighting a wild nasty. Hey, Tarion, how you doing? Yeah, that, uh... I mean, that did a pretty good chunk of damage, but uh, only Mia currently is uh, in the yellow. Also, I need to remember that dragon healing is a thing. This is all enemies. I don't know that I want to spend all of that MP on all enemies. You're going to do Calm with me. You're going to uh, Endow Shield Alex. And a Power Slash. I should just about top everyone off. Damn, two more points, that would have been 386. That was a, a perfect, uh, perfect way to tie into uh, December. Even though this is not a DOS game, it never was. Also, mm.
I don't have a, a tactic of all defense. Okay, well. I'm gonna have you guys scatter a little bit here. That's not great. That silenced our healer. You're pulsing again. Are you gonna do that again? Nope, that was just a regular attack. You always pulse like that. I think the difference last time was his eye. It, well, its eyes were also glowing, like this right here. You see that little glow that's happening? Yeah, that was uh, that was the correct move there. Unfortunately, Mia's almost down. Yeah, now it now his face is just normal. So let's beat up on him. Uh, Jessica can still be the healer at the very least and use items instead. Healing fruit, sixty nine, nice. Uh, so you're gonna use that on Mia. Uh, Mia, you're going to. Freeze Burst, and you're going to Pyro Slash. Thank you. Oh, that could have been bad. No, no. I'd really appreciate it if you um, restored Jessica's status there, and all. That'd be great. Oh, face is glowing. Black bile on Kyle. It's gonna silence him. Jessica's re uh, return to normal status by herself. Um, so Jess, I'm gonna leave on auto. Uh, you're going to freeze burst, and uh, yeah, you can't use skills, so you're just going to melee attack. Now that uh, Jess's status has uh, been restored, she's able to just purity lit me. And that's probably going to be the big hit. Nope, that's Black Bile again. On Mia this time. That's uh, not ideal, actually. 
Okay, you're gonna sword dance. You're gonna do whatever. I don't know what you're gonna do, but figure it out, I guess. Um, in fact, uh, it could be that Jessica gets the first turn. She does Purity Litany on Mia, who is then able to cast. And by putting her on auto, she will be able to make the decision to cast on her turn. Sure enough, Purity Litany comes out. And Mia decides to cast. So that was absolutely the correct thing to do. Except now Kyle is dead. Hmm. Hey, you're glowing. I haven't done the big attack in a little bit here, but you're gonna do Black Pile again, okay. On Mia again. Yeah, keep attacking. Oh, you're glowing again. Then you're just gonna keep doing Black Bile. How do I tell the difference between if it's gonna do Black Bile or if it's just gonna do the, the big hit, which I forget the name of? Anyway, Jess is silenced again, which is super not great considering that Kyle is down. Uh, let's go ahead and use an Angel's Tear, I guess. Okay, that restores full health. Good to know. I was expecting it to restore like 25% or something like that. Now, does that mean Black Bile or does that mean the other thing? I'm gonna take a risk and say it means black pile. Right. Uh, do you have something that uh, holy water recover conditions? All right, go ahead and use that on yourself. And you can use your super. Yep, that was Black Pile. And also doing it on Kyle after he did his super. Okay, uh, keep sword dancing. I do I want to defend? I'm gonna keep going. Uh, you're going to purity let me on Mia. Mia, I'm gonna let you auto. 
And uh, Kyle, you're auto as well. You're probably gonna end up attacking. Yeah. Yep, block pile on Alex. Which that's gonna affect his turn pro No, he didn't get affected. At least I think he didn't get affected. Yeah, didn't get affected. There we go. Nash finally coming through. And victory, 28,000 experience points, but you're still hungry. Alex levels up to 35. Jessica to 33. Mia to 33. And Kyle learns nothing, as is the norm. You're brilliant, Kyle. That was the best acting I've ever seen. And you ad lived all your dialogue, too. Huh? I wasn't acting, I was just speaking the truth. What? Don't tell me you're gonna stand here and deny that you whine like a weak old puppy. Deep down, the both of you really like each other, don't you? You can see it in your eyes. Uh, I wish I had someone like that in my life. The only thing that's gonna be in Kyle's eye is my fist. Yeah, I think we just crossed the line from playful to pissed. How about a truce until we, f until we find Galleon's castle, Jess? I mean, you started it. Okay. See the light at the end of the tunnel. Sure enough, we have two options here, Ruid and Kadeen. Uh, we're going to go to Ruid first. Actually, hang on. Now we're going to go to Kadeen first. I change my mind. So what is this? Dude is good at digging himself further into that hole. Into that hole, yeah. This definitely looks like something that we're going into. Appears to be a protective cocoon. The walls of the sack absorb the weak magic field of the frontier, infuse the inhabitant with life giving power. The weak members of the Vile Tribe might have to stay in, their, in cocoons all their lives. How utterly horrible! It's too sad to imagine. Yeah, the Vile Tribe might lead difficult lives, but there's no excuse for them to, va to invade our lands and kill us. I agree, but. Something like this might, uh, might have crushed any resolve they once had to carry on. Well, that ain't creepy at all. Green Earth and the Blue Star. My teachers at the guild taught me that once our entire world was like this frontier. My teachers at the shrine taught me the same thing. 
Althena used her power to transform our world into the green earth. Because the Vile Tribe was engaging in evil acts, Althena exiled them to the frontier. The only place where her magic could not reach. And my question is, what is the deal with this Althena lady? And how did she manage to terraform the moon? And why did they need to terraform the moon? Like, there's a lot of world building here that's not really elaborated on. I'm getting a weird feeling about this place. What's wrong, Jess? You, you sense some kind of danger? No, Cal, not danger. This place just feels oddly familiar. Yeah, well, I'll keep one hand on the hill of my sword, just in case. Hey, who's that? Welcome to the village of Kadeen. We've been waiting for you. Is this the home of the Vile Tribe? You look like a worker from the town line. What are you doing here? Hey, look at that! This is a shrine to Athena. That's why I felt so strange when we came here. What's going on here? And who are you? Fasha! It's a trap! No, this is not a place of contention. We were guided here so I could instruct you on how to enter Ruid. The Vile Tribe lost many lives both in that stronghold. It cannot be entered by any means save one. Which is? There is a hidden door to the left of the front gate. It is opened with a password that is given only to select members of the Vile Tribe. Fasha. Why are you telling us all this? And why are you helping us? From the moment we were banished to this barren wasteland, we, we began to die. And unless we claim some of Althena's power for ourselves, our end is all but certain to come about during this generation. My sister Zenobia said that we must seize that power by force. Althena's will must be bent to serve our immediate need for survival. I do, however, I do, however, have my reservations about her methods. Hmm. Instead of stealing Althea's power, I believe we can beg, uh, we can beg forgiveness. After all, we were the ones that transgressed the bounds of good. I believe that in her love and wisdom, she would welcome us back into the light. Where you see, I have washed. The progress and I pressed the button by accident. <laughs> and I have realized that what my sisters are doing is wrong. Why should we believe any of this? Uh, why should we believe a word of this, Honey Lips? Maybe don't with the pet names right now, Kyle, please. For all we know, this is just one of your tribal tricks. You are free to choose for yourself whether or not I, to believe in what I say. I do not expect your faith in me to be easily gained back. If you insist on seeing me only as an enemy, I would not be surprised. In that case, I would have to fight all of you alongside my errant, my errant sisters. Because my tribe deserves a chance at a real life in a real world. What should we do, Alex? She really sounds like she's bearing her soul to us. Hmm. I think we should trust her, Alex. I mean, she waited here. For, uh, she waited here for us. I don't think all of the vile tribe are bad people. It must become clear to me since we arrived on the frontier. They might look different, but they act and feel much the same as humans do. I think she deserves our trust, Alex. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Mia. Gotta go with the rest of the group here. Hey, J Pop, how you doing? Password to open the hidden door at Ruid is Green Earth. 
this with every member of the file tribe yearns more than anything to see. It's not a very good password if that's like what's on everyone's mind all of the time. It's time for you to settle the question, Alex. Is your strength, the strength of Althena and of her children, enough to overcome the power of the Magic Emperor? Meet with him, Alex, and hold out the answer for the whole world to see. Pesha. Well, we have our way into the grindery now. Here's all the secret password be open, please. Open, says me. Kind of weird to have this uh, this cave in the middle of it just to kind of go out into the outside world. Just password, password one. Justin two, you know. Or Hunter two, sorry. Did he even get the reference right? Anyway, Ruid. Also known as random user ID. This is Reed. It's quite a formidable fortress, that's for certain. I doubt we could break through this door without, with, even with a combined effort. Which is why I'm glad we have the password. Okay, time for the password. Uh, does anyone remember it? Just please. I believe it was Green Earth. Perfect! Thanks, Mia! What do you think Galleon's gonna say when we find him? Oh yeah, he won't, get, he won't be able to speak with my hands around his throat. The green Earth is something we all take for granted. But the Vile Tribe would do anything to live there. It's so sad. Alrighty. Looking ahead, looks like the um, the recommended level for the next boss is 38. So um, maybe a good idea to run into some fights here. Also, J-pop working out. How's that working out for you? Ho oh, ho ho! I'm so good. Somebody stop me. Thank you. You be quiet, Zero. <laughs> You think that turning into an octopus is going to help your situation? It's not. Kyle, however, will go up to level 35. Probably not because you decided to be an octopus. And in this box we find a silver light. And in this box, we find a beam armlet. Uh, is that? Oh, it's uh, that's from Mia. Coalesced sunlight.
Wyndham sounds like a hotel name. And maybe I'm just saying that because I did hotel reservations for, for a while. Thunder Mesh. Okay, good. That wasn't massively uh, flashy. That is, however, dealing a crap load of damage on the girls. Good job, Jess. Who levels up to level 34? Uh, Mia up to 34 as well. Okay, so now... Yeah, it's also good for them to um, to both gain levels after taking all of that damage in the previous fight. Because levels up means getting back to full health and MP. Where's my cursor? There we go. Probably should have this up. There we go. What's in this house? Another box. The box contains silver light. More fighting. More power. Something about Tim Allen or something. Isn't it? Yeah, both uh, Jess and Kyle are not doing too great at the moment. Jess, you have healing spells. Please use them. What are you doing? Oh, this ain't gonna be great. Kyle's super dead. Yes, that is what you should be doing. There we go. Wakey wakey Kyle. Let us remember to heal up here. Basically just Kyle, but you know. Still gotta heal after uh, taking such a beating.
Looks like there are two fights in store here for uh, getting into that building. Hopefully there's something good in there. I think that was intentional on Kyle. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Nice dodge. Yeah, that's not great. Our healer's down. This might not end well. I'm gonna unleash. Uh, Alex and Kyle here. There we go. That's looking a lot more manageable. I mean, we're not out of mana to res, we're out of healer to res. But there we go. Or are you saying that's what uh, Jess was telling Kyle? And just time to heal yourself. And Kyle, I guess. We're missing one guy, yes indeed. Nash decided to be a son of a bitch. Basically has been working with Galleon the entire time. Thank you. Ooh, that's a good super effective. And kind of the setup for that is the fact that like early on in the in the game he was reporting to Royce for something. Uh, fortune ring. I think we already have a fortune ring. You know what? Probably should be yeah, Alex. Be a good idea. That's not the correct button. Yeah, we already had a fortune ring. I was trying to see if I could like page up and down rather than have, having to scroll through the entire list. The answer is no, there is no page up or down. That's one of the big guys down, but uh, I'm not worried about the big guys so much. I'm worried about the ones who can cast Thunder Mesh. Like so. Hit three of my dudes. Let's unleash everyone for this. There we go. Thank you. See, 
Jess and Kyle can totally work together and have it work out. rare times where just everyone decides to um, to do physical attacks. Anyway, uh, we want to head to the southwest. And then we want to head, oh geez, that's a big group. Let's take this opportunity actually. Um, that flash cut is probably warranted here. Uh, let's check out what the judgment with me is. Oh wait, is that all enemies? Okay, you're going to do a regular attack. You're going to do judgment with me on everyone apparently. I have you just defend, and you can do a regular attack. E99 shot. Yikes. That was, uh, that was rough. Come on, Jess. Can't really delay this any longer. Oh, that is flashy. There we go. Everyone's dead. All the bad guys, anyway. Alex levels to 36. And I go back into the menu and see that I have to heal two dudes. I'll just let everyone loose at this point, because it's clear that uh, the difficulty is kind of ramping up here. Kaya levels up. That is a massive blow. Was that like a thousand damage? It seemed like a lot, actually. And Mia, with a melee blow, wins the fight. Jess levels up, her resistance becomes 69. Nice. 
And she learns a miracle that me which is probably a res. Mia levels up. She learns Inferno. right off the bat. And there's the other one. Nice easy fight. Actually, I, I want to check what those uh, new spells do. So Jessica has Miracle at me, which yeah, that is a revive. We finally have that as a spell. And uh, Inferno, I think it was, right? All enemies fire. Turns out fights really clear out faster when I just let everyone do anything. Gives us a ceiling mace, which is going to be either Jessica or Mia. That is Jessica. Seals away evil powers. I think seal is uh, this game's equivalent of silence. Everything just leave where I came in. Well, this should be a quick clear of this fight. Sure enough. We're probably gonna have to use a, uh, a starlight on Alex pretty soon. But uh, that's fine, we have a lot of them. Okay, 
think this is the way. I'm gonna guess that's gonna clear up. Oh my goodness. Alright. Um I guess I gotta get ready on the on the low contrast filter again because holy crap. Okay. Put your shades on. Oh, that was cool. Not particularly strong. That was cool. And sure enough, Alex uses a starlight. And neither of them do their thunder crap. It's when the sky starts pooping. Thunder crap. It seemed a bit excessive, honestly. In fact, uh, the the regular uh, power slash move would probably have done more damage and not been quite so needlessly extra. Alex level 37. We're about to we're about to get to something I'm pretty sure, so let's see if we can get one more level on everyone before um getting to that point. Just go level 36, me at level 36. I wonder if their uh experience is just the same. It's not the same, but they're like within 500 points of each other, and it's the same, uh, the ex the same experience point curve for everyone. Looks like Kyle is almost there. One more fight should get him uh, another level. Let's just do that now.
Power sweep and hit what, you moron? Usually, the auto attack isn't quite that dumb, but I guess we're talking about Kyle here. Anyway, Kyle has apparently learned a valuable lesson. Valuable enough to uh, get a level up. Check out these sweet moves, Jess. Kyle, you know you're supposed to be hitting the enemy, right? Ah, that's what I think of your fire kick on Mia, apparently. That's very rude. She's a very nice lady. Would like her if you got to know her. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to know her because you're going to be dead. It just seemed to kind of meander into us. Not particularly interested in fighting her. Right? Well, this is the first building we've been in that uh, has another door to go through, so maybe this is a sign of some sort. Pew laser time. Here comes the thunder mesh. Yes. Gonna get you thunder meshy. Both get longer. You know what? I've never actually watched a Yu Hack show. I I learned it from watching you, Zero. You miss you, I'm gonna pat you. Really good dub for an old one. Interesting. There's a lot of things that I should watch. But like... 
the, th the thing about watching things, like, especially when it's, like, anime, is, um, unless you have, you know, an innate understanding of the Japanese language, then you kind of have to, like, actually invest in watching the thing. You know what I mean? Oh. Didn't realize that Mia was almost dead. And how even when I uh maybe you should leave the healing to Jess. Thank you, Jess, for the healing. I guess your HP was 1, so you needed more of it. But like, even when I watched, like, last week tonight, even having an innate understanding of the English language, I still kind of want to pay attention to what's happening. Yeah, like, the majority of what I watch is either on YouTube or Twitch. Which works out for me because that means I can just watch things for free all the time. I mean, I guess I could watch things for free anyway, but uh, I don't have to pirate anything. Try ring. Now let's try this ring and see what happens. All status change ward. Yeah, Jess is getting this. Hmm. I feel like this is heading into a boss fight. Um, let's get everyone else, oh, everyone else, let's get everyone restored up. And Jessica can use... Not on Kyle. Anyway, we're we're definitely about to uh, jump into something here, so um, why don't we take a break before we do that? So y'all can take a moment, um, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall enter the door that lies in front of us and see what lies therein. So. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 